Well, I'm going to come clean, guys. I think I totally uh, lied to you yesterday morning when I said normal service will be resumed. I've definitely got a face for radio today. So uh, I got into work and, uh, yeah, just wasn't feeling it. So I cut the day short, come home, got a few bits done. Uh, I've brought the gaskets for the plate chiller home with me to pick all the bits of rubber and crap off of them. I've sat in front of the telly doing that for about an hour and a half and decided I've got to put something out for the morning. So here we are. We'll do a quick Q&A and read through some of the comments that have been left by you cheery fellows on the YouTube channel whilst playing some completely random clips from The weekend. So if I just scroll through some of the comments now, I notice quite a few people are sceptical about this tyre repair kit that I picked up the other week. But we shall see, we shall see how it works. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang on to it anyway. Uh, we've got a chap called Hard Drive Noodles asking, if you were paying yourself minimum wage for man hours spent on the construction, etc. of the brewery, plus all materials, tools and fuel for collecting kit... How much will the finished product have cost? It just seems like you could have bought ready-made tanks, etc. and been making money back on them already. Well, for the size kit that I've got, uh, off the shelf, was the closest one we can find is £17,000. That doesn't come with pumps. That doesn't come with pipe work. That doesn't come with control panels. It's just the one fermenter, HLT, mash tun, and boil kettle. So for £17,000, you ain't getting a lot. So if I pay myself minimum wage for two months' work, let's call that two and a half grand. The slip rollers were 1200 quid. I've spent about two grand on steel. So what does that make us? Uh, two, four and a half. So we're about five or six thousand pounds in. And then this fuel, let's put another grand on top for running around and stuff. It's still £7,000, so I think, yeah, I think we're well in, and uh, I've got three fermenters out of this. You wouldn't get three fermenters out of the off-the-shelf kit. So I'm sure I answered this question last time, um, and I could point you in the right direction. I think it's PCB installations. Go and have a look at their kit and see what you get for that kind of money, because it ain't much. Uh, Sean Bond says, Marie, grade, ply and varnish. I use that on my boil kettle. Well, I'm not putting ply. Oh, he's on about for the lid. Okay, yeah, yeah, could could do that for the lid. It's totally acceptable. Uh, Will, Will's, Brew, Will's Brewery asks, could you not roll a conical lid for the tanks? These would have rigidity, these would have rigidity without, strengthening, without the strengthening bars. Yeah, I probably could. Uh, but the cones that I rolled for the tanks didn't come out as perfect cones until I tacked them onto the cylinders and for me to hit that shape would be difficult and how am I going to get them on? I suppose they could be really shallow cones they wouldn't have to be as deep as what they are now but then all of a sudden when I'm cleaning in place uh, the cone wouldn't fit inside the lid it would fit on the outside of the tank if you know what I mean and then all the CIP liquid would leak down the side of the tank. No good. Uh, Cats Cats 50 says to reduce dust, spray the walls with a, and roof with a solution of PVA and water. A garden sprayer will do it. Yeah, we've been up, we've actually jet washed them, mate. We've jet washed the roof when we moved in, believe it or not. It's just one of those kind of units until all of the uh, renovation works are done. Well, the dust is going to keep coming back, but we're getting close now, and we're giving it a second paint. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, there shouldn't be any more. There shouldn't be any more dust floating around in the unit after we've done this. Scott Malley says, bloody hell, that scaffolding stunt. Sure you were safely harnessed in. I'm not sure if I was harnessed in. I was the landlord these days. There should be a new metal roof up for grabs with such a decent tenant. Yeah, I really wish you would put a... A new roof on, but uh, chances of that happening are slim to zero. So you got to piss with a cock you got, I guess. And I'm just making the best of a bad unit. And uh, we'll, sp we'll spin it around. We'll get it looking shit hot. Don't fall off that scaffolding. Cheers, Canadian Brewing Chow. 
No, don't worry, mate. I am uh, used to be a trapeze artist for a travelling circus back in the day. Alex Hemi, council, the council fixed my roof tiles with black goo. I don't like it, but it's worked, it's cheap and it's easy. Yeah, the stuff that I put on the roof at the unit was latex based and it's got lots of glass fibre in there to hold it all together. Boyce Bailey, a lot of work done to the place. Rent free for a while? I oh, fucking wish, mate. I wish, but we'll see what we can do. When the landlord comes down, he went in on his next visit. I'll show him what I've been up to, and we'll see if we can't ring him out and get some uh, get some dosh out of him. Les Patterson helps on the same sort of idea. I don't like your landlord. I would have thought he or she would have fixed your roof. I say this having been one myself. On a better note, your efforts are coming together rather nicely. Yeah, it's a shame that they're not going to like get this place sorted before I move in but beggars can't be choosers mate and uh, I think we're lucky to be in, in a town centre location like we are we're such a big unit for for what I pay for the place Rob Devine great work mate can't wait for the first brew day talking of which is there any way you can put an all grain American IPA kit together for me as I can't get the results that I had from the IVB kits that you did uh, short answer no, sorry, I can't, dude. Uh, I don't have everything to do it. I don't have the ingredients anymore. I don't have half of the packing equipment anymore. And if I do, it's all boxed up and put away. So it's not number one in my list of things to do. Ron B, keep knocking off the little jobs. Sound advice. Did you get any footage of that varnish drying? Unfortunately, the GoPro died, so we lost that time lapse. Sean Bond saying how... Come, you didn't use marine grade varnish. It was just like the cheapest varnish. Uh, and it was polyurethane, so it dried quick, flashed off. Uh, and that, what was it? One and a half litre tub or whatever I got. One litre tub was less than 20 quid. And it's pretty good varnish, actually. Robert Johns. Rabbits on. I'm going to skip his comments. Jesus Christ. Fowey River Brewing. Make a brewery in 100 days from scratch. I have a target for you. Sup your first beer from it on vlog 200. Great to watch. Good work. I might take you up on that. We'll see if we can do that. And then... Uh, before I go, one last one from Greg, Dullan Brewing. Good idea on not blocking up all the windows. It will make massive difference having some natural light coming in. Plus you can always put some bars up on the outside to stop the tea leaves. Glad to see Dave helping out. It's good to see you have genuine people around. Yes, I might put some bars up on the outside, but these windows, they actually back into somebody's garden, believe it or not. So, And with them being double glazed, chances of anyone getting in. It's pretty slim. So that'll wrap it up. I think there's a good five or ten minutes of uh, Q&A for you there. And uh, we will see you tomorrow.